everyone talking about Accento by Zerzhov. The notes in this fragrance are hyacinth, pineapple, iris, jasmine, pink pepper, vetiver, musk, patchouli, amber, and vanilla. So first of all, this is pretty feminine leaning, I would say. I believe it's marketed as unisex, but just a heads up, if you have a preference either way in that direction, this does lean feminine. I would say this is a nice, you know, pleasant enough fruity floral, but for me, it's nothing mind-blowing, and I don't think the scent justifies the price, in this case, for me at least. Uh, it's about $300 for a full bottle of this, and again, it's nice. I find it perfectly enjoyable to smell, but there's nothing about it that to my nose smells like, oh, this is a $300 fragrance, either in terms of uniqueness, uh, grabbing me, making me feel anything from smelling it, smelling particularly attractive or anything like that. That's, again, just my taste, though. I'm not trying to dissuade anyone from trying it. I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample. If you like musky, powdery, fruity florals, I actually do recommend you check this out because that's just not my taste. Not even because it's feminine-leaning, because there's plenty of feminine-leaning ones where I think, oh, that smells so good, or that smells sexy, or like, whatever. This just <laughs> isn't necessarily one of them. But on the positive side, for those who are interested in this, it has pretty long-lasting longevity and pretty decent projection as well. So at least you're getting that bang for your buck out of this if you do end up liking it enough to buy a bottle. And I do think that people who are just interested in kind of getting this for themselves because they like the smell, yeah, maybe that would work perfectly for you. I just wouldn't necessarily go into this thinking that this is going to blow everybody away or, you know, feel really attracted to people. And I'm sure people could say, you know, in the comments, oh, I get the most compliments ever from this. And I'm sure that does happen for people, but I just don't think out of everything out there, that to my nose at least, this is the one that I would find the most to be drawn towards or anything like that. It's one thing if it was like a hundred bucks or less, but I just don't think $300 is really on par with what my nose gets from this. But yeah, I recommend checking it out if you like fruity florals and tell me if you feel differently about it. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample.